All right, so go search and listen to the song Aquarius, Let the Sun Shine In by the Fifth Dimension and replace the word Aquarius in the song with asparagus. Okay, so before we start, and if you know the song, it's probably stuck in your head right now. You may remember the amazing scene from 40 Year Old Virgin, because I always do when I hear that song. And if you don't, here you go. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius, Aquarius. This is the dawning of the age of asparagus. So grab one bunch of asparagus, and when picking asparagus, make sure the buds are nice and tight and not all open and frayed. This is just to assure that you're picking good asparagus. And then you can snap the ends off. You can peel the ends off a bit to get away from the woody and fibrous stem. You can also slowly slice off small pieces at the end of the stem with your knife until it easily slices through. And once you're done with all your ends, set aside for stalks or soup, and you can then chop up the asparagus into bite-sized pieces and add them to the bowl. Next, we're just gonna smash a couple garlic cloves and you can leave the skin on if you want. This will help prevent it from burning the garlic as we are going to be cooking on high heat and we just want the flavor of the garlic and we'll be removing the cloves afterwards. Next is one third cup or 50 grams of sesame seeds. And you may be asking yourself, Mark, that's a lot of sesame seeds. And you're right, it is. I like those sesame snaps and the whole thing is made of sesame seeds. So if you like sesame seeds and asparagus, what's not to like about this recipe? Add the sesame seeds in a dry pan on medium heat and toast your sesame seeds. This definitely helps bring out a nutty flavor and will add some crunch. Keep an eye on your seeds though, as they can easily burn. Once they're golden brown and fragrant, you can remove to a bowl and then just set aside. Pick a pan that you can easily flip and move the asparagus around. A large frying pan works. A pan that has deeper edges or a wok works better though. And then in your pan, add two tablespoons of sesame oil, your garlic, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, some chili flakes for some hot, hot heat, and then turn the heat to high. As the butter melts and the oil gets hot, the garlic is gonna infuse its flavor into it. And then once it's nice and hot, we're gonna add the asparagus, and then we're gonna season with salt and freshly cracked pepper. And then we're just gonna saute the asparagus, mixing and tossing with the high heat. It shouldn't take too long to cook though, but you have to keep the asparagus moving. Once the asparagus is cooked, we're gonna add one tablespoon of honey, remove the garlic, and then add the toasted sesame seeds. Mix and toss until the asparagus is well coated. At this point, you can add a splash of lemon juice and mix that in, but I usually just like to cut it into wedges and just serve it on the side. And there we go. Let the sun shine in and bring it to the table. I love this. It's a quick and easy appetizer, a perfect little snack, and yeah, there's a lot of sesame seeds in it, but give it a try and then you can decide whether or not to cut back the next time you make it. Or you might even add more. And there's going to be sesame seeds all over your kitchen that you might find days later and it's totally worth it. So I hope you give this a go. And as always, full recipes in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.